Thank you again for coming our way tonight. This is the last night of this series of lessons. Me, if you would turn to Hebrews chapter 11 and verse number 7. Hebrews 11 and verse number 7. And also Genesis <laughs> chapter uh, 6, 5 through 22. These will serve as the foundational factors for our study tonight. We welcome you to the Church of Christ. Thank you for being here. Maybe you don't share with us in our religious conviction, but we hope that you will listen attentively at God's uh, word. Amen. Thanks again for this church having me to come here to find a preacher. Michael Miller and all the <coughs> brethren uh, that work with him. Yeah. In Hebrews, chapter is 11, <coughs> and verse number 7. Hebrews, chapter 11, and verse number 7. Notice the, notice the text. It says, by faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as, uh, as seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared and off to the saving of his house, by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which he is by faith. Just in case I forget it, I want to bring this out, and I don't want you to forget this. That uh, faith, this is the faith, F A. I T A stands on revelation. Yeah. Now please get this. I'm talking about scripture. <coughs> now God's word has to do with scripture. Uh, are you listening to me? Sure. I know where I'm going. Um, and I hope I can make you follow. Amen. Faith stands on revelation. What do you mean? If it has not been revealed in Scripture, and you're standing on it, that's not faith. Amen. Uh, I want you to really get that. <clears throat> now, you see, Sometimes, uh, somebody may say, well, where was the scripture, where was the scripture in Noah's day? What was revealed? Well, God spoke to Noah directly. Mm -hmm. I want you to listen to me. I'll just bring this out here. I used to mess up right at the last night. But I want you to turn to Romans. Stay with me. <clears throat> Romans chapter 9 and verse number 17, I think I'm correct. Yeah, now I want to show you something. Yeah. Romans 9 17. All right. Don't you want to read that? <coughs> Romans 9, 17. Now watch, watch this now. I want you to watch this. I want to make some points tonight. Romans 9, 17 says what? For the scripture says unto Pharaoh. Stop. What scripture said unto Pharaoh? Now Pharaoh, the word Pharaoh has to do with the king. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not his name. That's a title. Mm -hmm. 
You got to like the president. You got it. So the scripture says unto Pharaoh. Well, how did the scripture say something to Pharaoh? Through Moses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the scriptures were in Moses, and when Moses spoke to Pharaoh, that was scripture speaking to him. Brother, you get that? Amen. It took me years to learn that. Amen. Now, that's free. Somebody's going to have to tip me for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Now, you get that? The scripture said to Pharaoh, mm -hmm. well, he didn't own no book because it wasn't written. But it was in Moses. See that? Is that pretty good, uh, Eric? Yeah. <laughs> Eric, Eric got his pen there. Well, mm -hmm. I figure these, these younger preachers, I need to give them something they can teach and preach. Amen. Got Amen. it? Amen. Now, so I, I want to bring out faith standing on Revelation. Now, if it's not revealed and you are on it or uh, in it, it's not faith. No, sir. Now, faith is not just what you believe. Amen. Biblical faith has to do with standing on revelation. So if it's not been revealed in Scripture, you can't say I'm in it by faith. Now, one of the reasons that I got out of the Roman Catholic Church is because the Roman Catholic Church is not, you can't be in it standing on, on revelation because it's not revealed in Scripture. Amen. And any other denomination. If it's not revealed in Scripture and you in it, you say, well, I believe in it. You may believe in it, but you can't be saved with it. Amen. All right. That's, that's good. Great. That was just, that's, I, I was thinking about that. You know, when you, uh, Eli, when you get old, all kinds of stuff running in your mind. If you don't believe it, ask your granddad. <laughs> well, uh, by faith, no, look at this. See this right here? Can you see this? Uh, here, here's another sermon here. Uh, you want to preach a sermon sometime on Father's Day? Here it is right here. Noah, uh, how, how Father ought to be Noah's faith, Noah's fear, Noah's foresight, and Noah's faithfulness determine the future of his family. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, if you can't preach that, you can't preach. Mm -hmm. If you got to do it again, if I see you, uh, Kenny, your, your wife is writing that down. <laughs> Look at this. Noah's faith, his fear, his foresight, and his faithfulness determine, determine the future of his family. Fathers need to know that in America. Amen. Amen. And in the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, amen. That's good. Now, got it? Now, and Genesis chapter uh, 5, 6 rather, in verse number 5. Let's look at that right quick there. Let's, let's go over there. Now, I, I noticed somebody was looking at my Bible the other night, and uh, they said, this is a ragged Bible. I, I, somebody, I, I've been using this Bible, believe me, since 1981 or 80. And I have never used another. I use it all the way from school to grad school and all. It's the same one. All the gospel meetings that I hold, I've been using the same Bible. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, I was down in Texas in a tent meeting in Marshall, Texas. And we had about five, six hundred, well, 625 people on the tent. And a mm -hmm. guy walked up to me and said, he said, John, he said, you, you must be an old poor preacher. Your Bible is getting so rough. And he said, I feel sorry for you. What's your address? This was 2000. 2000. He made that and sent it to me. Mm -hmm. To keep my Bible yet. And I don't allow <laughs> my children to touch my Bible. Mm -hmm. I tell my wife, don't you touch my Bible. You're too fragile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, got it, I got scotch tape all over. Mm -hmm. But I know. Is that all right? Well, that's a little excursion here. And uh, th let's read it. Would, Genesis chapter 5. 6 and verse number 5, it says what? And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Wait a minute. Brethren, listen to me. God sees the wickedness in America. Amen. God hates sin, but he loves the sinners. God is mad at the sinners. Sin, sinners. Listen to me. Fools mock at sin. Yeah. Righteousness, watch it. 
exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach. Listen to this. To any people, Amen. like white America, it doesn't make any difference. God is in control. Daniel said that you may know that God rules in the kingdom of me. Now, now watch this here. Uh, it says what now? Keep on reading. And that every imagination of the thoughts of the good heart was only evil continually. Now, it just seems like that's a picture of America. Right? Amen. But most of you don't like America. I love America, but we need to straighten up. Amen. Mm -hmm. The world needs to straighten up. Amen. Now, then it says, what else? Read it. And it repented the Lord that he had made man. Now, that, that, that word is, again, we talk about repentance. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what do you mean repentance? He regretted. He was sorry that he made me. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Uh, Derek and read. And he grieved him at his heart. Read. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth. Keep on reading. Both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air. For it repented me that I have made them. Read. But Noah found. Oh, oh, what, one word. What's that word? Noah no, found. No, no. But, 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 boy, look here. Now things don't change. Mm -hmm. If that but wasn't there, we'd be in bad shape with mm -hmm. He said, but, <clears throat> what? No one found no grace. found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Mm -hmm. What is grace? Something you don't deserve. Mm hmm now, don't let anybody tell you it wasn't any grace in the Old Testament. Amen. Feel the grace. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. And listen, God has been very graceful to us. Yes. Because we've been messing up a long time. Amen. Right? And God is grateful. And there's a way out. Yes. But we're going to have to take it. Amen. Keep on reading, Eric. <clears throat> These are the generations of Noah. Read. Noah was a just man. Read. And perfect in his generation. Read. And Noah walked with God. Read it. And Noah begat three sons. Read. Ham, Shem, and Japheth. Look, three boys. Ham, uh, say it again. Shem, Shem Ham, Ham, and Japheth. Right? And their wife. Mm -hmm. And Noah's wife. Mm -hmm. How many is that? Eight. Eight souls. How many? Eight. Eight. Now, I want you to just mark an eight there. And then you folks who talk to nomination people, I want you to ask them the question. <laughs> Were there more than eight saved on the ark during the flood? You know, sometimes people say, you know, uh, y'all folks think y'all are going to say, well, I just do it now. Let's, let's do some. Let's go to Genesis chapter uh, uh, 6 and, and tell me if there's more than eight saved in the ark. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, no, well, wait a minute. I don't, somebody, I don't believe God would be like that. Wait a minute. You read it? <laughs> Peter, Peter quoted it later. Mm -hmm. Long suffering God waited in the days of Noah, way in the oh, prepared. And he said eight souls were saved by what? Eight. He didn't say nine. Yeah, nope. He said eight. Mm -hmm. All right. Keep on reading, uh, Eric. The earth also was corrupt before Read it. God. Read it. And the earth was filled with violence. Read it. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. Read it. For all flesh. Had corrupted his way, read upon the earth. Read it. And God said unto Noah, Now, that's where we're going to stop, right? There. I'll take it from you. We'll bring you up. Thank you. Are you following me now? Yes, Please sir. follow me now. Yes. Listen, we're in school. Mm -hmm. Now, by faith, Noah built an ark for the saving of his house. The Bible said in 2 Peter 2 9, uh, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Look at that. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Now, look, look, look at this now. Listen to me. In this outline of Genesis, chapter 6, 1 through 22, here's the outline. 1 through 7, we have God's grief. He was grieved. Uh, number two, uh, six through eight, uh, through six through thirteen, God's grace. Good. Mm -hmm. Follow me. Amen. Am I doing all right, teacher? Mm -hmm. See, we got some professors in here. 
And you see, uh, uh, I didn't hardly get a chance to go to school. I just had to do the best I could to join the in school. So I had to put something out like I know something. <laughs> <laughs> then we have God guiding. Six through uh, chapter 6, 14 through 22. Look what we have, man. We got God free, his grace, and his God. That's good call, man. That's good. Y'all think we're going mm -hmm. to try and make this fun, man. All right? Now watch this now. In our text, we got God's preacher at verse 13. 14 through 16, God's plan. Got it? And then 17 through 22, God's promise. Eric, that, that's simple. Mm -hmm. That's simple. Now, now brother, I, I'm to, trying to help young preachers and Bible school teachers. The power is in the text. Amen. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me tell you something. The power is in the text. Mm -hmm. If you go in this text here, it'll, it'll show you some stuff and you just never even thought of it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go down here. All right? Pronounce destruction. And God said unto no. Wait a minute. Nobody else. Don't go to Genesis and where it says, uh, what to build in an ark. He didn't tell you to build an ark. Yes, sir. When I'm teaching Bible class, I said, now listen, everything is in the Bible is, is from God. Listen to me. I believe it from Genesis and Revelation. Yes. But everything in Scripture is not for you or us. Right. And here's an example. You look silly. It's in the Bible. I saw it. It's in the Bible. I talk to individuals, talk about my cancel instruments music. Well, it's in the Bible. I said, it's in the Bible, build an ark. I don't see you building an ark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you see that? Now, all right. God said to Noah, the end. Junior, you know we talked about that today. The end. Where is your end? How much time before your end? Wait a minute. Your end. Where is your end? Listen, you know you got a beginning. It's going to be an end. Wait a minute, you got an end. In the material realm, Eric, there's always a beginning and there's always an end. That's why I know Jehovah's written is wrong because they talking about the world's going to be uh, redone and folk going to live. No, no, no. Anything physical has a beginning and it has an end. Sure. But eternal stuff is not like that. Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. Got it? Mm -hmm. The end. The end. All right? The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Boy, look at that. Mm -hmm. So we have the pronounced destruction. Brother, when God says something, he means mm -hmm. Amen. All right? Now we're going to look at God's plan. Pattern for construction. Look what we got. We got destruction and we got construction. Do that again. We got destruction. We got pronounced destruction. God said, I'm going to stroke it. But also, God is so good, he said, now, a pattern for construction. Now, wait a minute. He said, I'm going to destroy you, but if you listen to me, I'll save you. Mm -hmm. Good? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go right here now. Let's look at the pattern of construction. Now, now, look at the place. Make the ark of wood. No, no sir. Mm -hmm. Make the ark of gopher wood. Somebody says, what is the word of gopher wood? He said, what you go for? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, now. He said, make me an ark of gopher wood. Wait a minute. You ever hear people say, well, he just said not to play mechanically. He just say you couldn't have a piano. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you know all the woods that's in the world, a lot of different kinds of woods? Mm -hmm. how, good, how big would Genesis be if God messed our name? Do not use pine. Do not use oak. Do not... The Bible would be big if it's so big. When God says something to do, everything else is excluded. Amen. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. In, in worship, in the New Testament worship, 
The Bible says in Ephesians 5, 19, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Amen. Colossians 3, 16. Hebrews 2, 12. In the midst of the congregation, I was S-I-N-G. Now, my question is to the non-native people, give me the passage in the New Testament that says, play. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Not this. Take the ark of gopher wood. Now that play, make an ark of gold. Now, now, petition, room. Look what it says. Now watch this. God didn't tell him how many room. He just said room. Room. Room shall thou build in the ark. I want you to get in the ark, Eli. In the ark. In the ark. All right. Now. Protection. What do you mean? And shall, watch this, brother. It says, and shall pitch it, the ark, within and without with pitch. That's a slang, and it comes from a Hebrew word, which means a covering. That's what it means. It has to do with a tone. Oh, that's good. Isn't it? I told y'all wanted to get me for that. <laughs> That's good stuff. Isn't it? Now, pitch it without, within, without the pitch. All right? Here's the pattern. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make it. Look, not them, it. One. No. One. No, no, not two are. One. It. Here's the pattern. The length of the arc shall be 300 cubits. That's 450 feet. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, oh, that's not very big. i tell you what to do. Do that three times, because you got three stories. Mm -hmm. Pretty good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Now watch this now. The breadth thereof, 50 cubits. That's 75 feet. Right? And the height thereof, 45 uh, cubits. 45 feet. That's 45 feet. Now what you have? You got uh, uh, nothing had ever been built that side mm -hmm. until 18 something. And it is a perfect size for floating. It wasn't built for speed, it was built for floating. Now, somebody said that's not very big. That's a football field. And I had one. Do it three times. That's pretty good size, is it? All right. Have any of you been to the place in Kentucky? Mm hmm. How many of y'all from Kentucky? Y'all from Kentucky? Y'all never been to Soda Art? Sure, man. It's amazing. I read about it, and, and we're thinking about going up there, a congregation is taking a trip up there to see a, a replica of the art. Mm -hmm. Somebody says it's amazing. It is. My son said that. Is that good? Isn't that something? Now, nah. that's, that's no less. Is that pretty good? Now, watch it. A window shall thou make in the ark, and in a cubit shall thou fashion it above, and the door of the ark shall thou set in the side. A window and a door. Mm. Pretty good? Good. Then it says, with first, lower, second, and third stories shall thou make it. Yes, sir. So there's going to be three stories out. Right? Mm -hmm. By the way, just in case I forget it, I want to bring this out. Please listen to me. The highest mountain at that time, I think it was Mount Everest. I may be wrong on that. But anyway... Uh, when you take the ark, listen to me, it tells you that the water was so far up high of the highest mountain. You got it? It feet. was for a reason for that. Mm -hmm. Because the bottom of the ark, listen to me, a story of the ark was underwater. Mm -hmm. Now, if it wasn't just right, this ark going to hit that peak high part of the mountain. It's going to crash. So guess what? God made water go so high that the boat wouldn't hit the mountain. Mm -hmm. 
Now see, is that good? Fif- now, let me tell you something. Fifteen you feet. Do what God said, do. Amen. You cannot say, well, I, it don't make sense to do it. Like, no, do it like God say, do it, and it'll work. Amen. All right? Now, right? Let's go to the present here. Now, we, we, we got that? Now, we're going to look at the promise. Promise to punish and preserve. Look at it. God promised. All right? Watch the flood. And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of water upon earth. Brothers, it had never rained before. Amen. Mm -hmm. It had never rained. Well, how do you get water? Mm It never rained. And you know that you know what you know how we say sometimes it rained cats and dogs, right? <laughs> but in this case, it was dinosaurs and elephants. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you listening to me Praise now? God. So now watch this man. I, I wish I had time to get into all of this, Praise but God. but uh, 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 the ozone. Watch, listen to me now. All this stuff is good. It, it had the the the, mark, the water was up there, and it had never rained. When the volcanoes began to break up and shock this ashy stuff all up, you read Genesis. Mm. What happened is you know it cannot rain unless you have some particles to hold the moisture. Mm-hmm. Same with snow. Did y'all know that? Mm-hmm. What you say? You, you didn't know that? If you don't have a little particles uh, of dust in the air, no rain, and no snow. Why? Because that's what it connects it to to come down. Now you listen? Now that's another subject. That's in Christian evidence, and I don't need to get into all that. But anyway, it rained. <clears throat> rained 40 days, 40 nights, I stopped. Hmm. Oh, so much well, that's just raining out there. So what? No, it rained. Big deal. Well, it just rained one day. All right? Two days. Well, we got a long ways to go. Mm-hmm. Forty days. Yes. It's not so funny now, is it? Mm-hmm. it, it it's not funny now, is it? Now, if it works, it's going two weeks. Mm-hmm. That's 14 days. Well, now, uh, a whole month. It's still raining. I'm, I'm not talking about a little spring. I'm mm-hmm. talking about rain. Yes, sir. And br- brethren, listen to me. The flood was a universal flood. Amen. It was not a local flood. Amen. Now, brothers, ask the people down in New Orleans about water. You think you, you think man has really got something going on? Man, you have, have you ever been in a flood, a tall flood? It can do so much damage. And the houses and buildings that we build, we think they can can hold, you know, can't can match that water. Well, that's a little excursion. Let me get on back down here now. All right, now, that we see the flood. And behold, I, here I do bring the flood of water upon the earth. What? Watch the fatality. To destroy all the flesh wherein that there is breath of life from under the heaven, and everything that is in the earth shall be, what? Die. Favor. We see the flood, we see fatality, and we see favor. What do you mean? Grace. Pardon me. Hear that word here again, Eric. What did it say? Oh, hey. But, Cain, but with thee will I establish my cup, and thou shalt come into the ark. Listen to this. Thou and thy son and thy wife and thou son wife with thee. Mm-hmm. Later, had you been back there, would you would you obey your husband? It's not but one door in the in the ark, and it's only one window. And all those sneaking animals on there. <laughs> God told Lot in Genesis chapter 13 through chapter 19. Uh, 
Escape for your life and don't look back. The command was given to Lot. It wasn't given to his wife and children. Mm -hmm. But they had to obey the husband. Amen. You got to get in trouble when you preach like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, how, how many of y'all ladies would turn to a philosopher? What's wrong with looking back? It's nothing wrong with looking okay? Wives, obey your husband in all things. Somebody say, if he's the right kind. The Bible don't say nothing about the right kind. It just said, obey your husband. Oh, wait a minute. You ought to be more careful when you're married. Be careful who you marry. Amen, Amen. Members of the church of Christ, you don't need to marry a heathen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. That's right. Don't bring it. Oh, my daughter, don't bring no heathen here. Said, listen, I've got enough problems with you as it is. When you bring the heathen here, I got, I got all kinds of problems. Mm -hmm. See, because he's most likely, he don't want his kids to grow up in the nurture and have been the Lord. Now you got little great, little grandkids that turn to heat. You need to listen. That's right. Well, let's go a little further here now. Amen. Hey, now, Great. files and flock, and every of every living thing of all flesh to of every sort shall watch it, bring, thou shalt bring. Into the ark. It keeps on about in the ark, into the ark. Watch it. To keep them alive. Where are you going to stay alive in? No, not outside. You'll be alive inside. Let me, I don't want to get to see. Spiritually, if you want life, you got to be in Christ. Yeah. Listen to me carefully. It's life. Look, look, look at this here. That, Eric, let's turn there quickly. Boy, I'm glad you're here. Look at uh, 1 John. 5, uh, 12, 11, and 12. Look at this. Pretty good? Uh, L-I-F-E. Now, 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 God told Noah, listen, these animals you bring in, they're going to have life on the inside of the ark. In 1 John 5, 11, uh, John said, and this is the record that God, that God has given us. No, 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 I'll take it. This is the record that God has. Has! Wait a minute. That's past tense, is But do you have it here? No. Where is it? Read it. Given to us eternal life. Where is it? And this life is in the His Son. Amen. God has given eternal life to America. But where is it? It's in Christ. Amen. Until you obey God and get in Christ, you won't have it. Amen. Amen. God gave him life inside the ark. So when I when he doesn't give it to me, I, I I don't need to go in. Really? He that has the son has eternal life. He that has not the son of God has not eternal life. Let me go a little further again now. Pretty good? good. All right. Now, now let, let's go here. Then it says, watch this. With thee, uh, they shall be male and female. What did you say? No. Just bring the mail, woman. See how we do in America? See how we mess things up? That's right. We think that two men can get together and have kids. There's something wrong with us. Amen. I told you we live in a crazy country. Amen. Mm -hmm. And two women get together and come out, we're going to have a baby. No, God didn't do it like that. Amen. It wasn't Adam and Steve. Mm -hmm. Adam and Eve. Yes, sir. Got it. God made the hen and the rooster, the bull and the cow. You got it? Man and woman, right? Now, brother, let me tell you something. Listen to me. In Sodom and Gomorrah, when they, this homosexual stuff down there taking place, mm -hmm. see, God was not ready for the world to be not populated. He cleaned it up here. Then he told them to be fruit and multiply. See, homosexuality and lesbian, that stuff stopped the, the, the growth of society. God is not ready to stop it. And he's not working in miracles anymore. So Sodom the Mike, you know what he did? He just, I said, I know what I do. Y'all come on out of here. I'll burn you, I'll burn you high. And the Lord will burn our highs today. Mm -hmm. He got a way of doing it. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go a little further here now. Pretty good? Good. Uh, to keep them alive with these shells now. Be male and female, filed after 
his kind and tell after their kind and every creeping thing of the earth after his kind, two of every sort, two of every sort shall come in unto thee. Now, I want to ask a question now. I want you to listen to it. How in the world did Noah get all those animals in the ark? Didn't say he took adults. Huh? It didn't say he took adults. Well, I know that, but how, uh, uh, how did he get in? Did he, did he go out <coughs> and get a, get a horse and hook them in? Or what? They came to him. Came to him. See that? Came to him. Brother, listen to him. All right? Let's, let's pull up first. Now we see, uh, now we're going to see the files and the block. Now we'll look at food. Look at verse 22. Look at this. And take thou unto thee of, of all food that is evil, and thou shalt watch it. Gather it into, unto thee, and it shall be for food for thee and for thee. Apparently, Noah was a vegetarian man. Have you ever thought about it? They all ate the same, the animals ate the same food. Somebody said, well, where in the world are they going to get the protein from? They need some meat for protein. <coughs> well, where does a uh, 400 pound gorilla get his protein from? Does he eat steak? <laughs> he, he eats vegetables. Don't think that God did not put the protein in his vegetables. So if you want protein, you don't have to have meat. Nothing wrong with meat, but that's not the only way you get protein. Mm -hmm. Amen. Pinto beans. Pinto you heard beans. of <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a little scary. Exterity. Now let's go here a little further here. Uh, and then it says, uh, hey, here we are, faithfulness. Watch it. Thus, look at this. Boy, it is nice. It says, thus did Noah, according to all that God commanded him, so did he. Yes, sir. Now, brother, watch this now. Noah, listen to this. Everybody look at this. Noah saved by grace. Yes, sir. Genesis 6 and verse number 8. He saved by grace. Mm -hmm. Noah saved by faith. Hebrews 11, 7. Mm -hmm. All right? Noah saved by obedience. Hebrews 11 and verse number 7. Mm -hmm. Noah saved in the ark by water. Noah saved by the Lord. Yes, sir. That, oh, we got to do that again there. Look at this. Noah saved by grace. Mm -hmm. Let me put it over here. <laughs> Look what we had. We got law, L-A-W. No, 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 no. We got grace. Grace. E-R-A-C-E. Grace, law, work. What kind of works are these? These are works of faith. Mm -hmm. sir. Got it? Amen. If you are saved, you're saved by grace, law, and works of faith. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ is our grace. Yes. Mm -hmm. Talk to me somebody. Yes, sir. Right? That's yeah. great. And he has a law. Right? Yes. And when yes. you carry it out, that's a work. It's not meritorious work. No. It's works of faith. God takes you through. That's good. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's go a little further. Now. Pretty good? good. Now, oh boy, that's good there. Now, we come along pretty good here. I want to bring this out here as well here. Uh, look at Genesis chapter 7, verse number 1 here. Is this good? Are oh, y'all following me so far? Yes. We're trying to hurry up and get out of here now. Uh, Genesis chapter 7, verse number 1. What did it say? And the Lord said unto Noah, What? Come thou. Oh! What did it say? Come thou. Come! C O M E. Come. You sure he didn't say go? No, sir. He said come. Amen. Come read it. Come thou and all thy house into the ark. Hold it. If God, if I can, if uh, Kitty, you come to Memphis and you come on the outside and ring the doorbell, and I tell you, say, Kitty, come on in. What does that mean? I'm already on the inside, right? Mm -hmm. 
But when God told Noah to come down in, he was already in it. Mm-hmm. Amen. He didn't say go in, he said come in. Nothing good? Yes, all right, all right. Uh, verse number seven said what? And Noah went in. Oh! Look at verse number 12. What did it say? Ooh. And the rain was upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. Oh, boy. Look at verse 16. And they went in. Oh! Excuse me. And they that went in. Three. All right. Look at verse 23. And every living substance was destroyed upon the face of the ground. Both man and cattle and the creeping things oh, and the fowls. Of the heavens. That's good. All right. Now look at chapter 8, verse number 1. And God remembered Noah. Read. And every living thing. Read. And all the cattle that was with him in the ark. All right. Look at verse 15. <laughs> Read it. And God spake unto Noah, saying, What? Go forth. Oh! He told him to come. Yeah. Then he told him to go. Yes, sir. Apparently he's on board. He said, come. Then after it's all over, he said, do what, Gary? Go. Go. Amen. If you can't see that, you'll get to heaven on the bed. Yes. I can't make it in the simple. Right, he says, come. Mm-hmm. And after it's all over, he said, go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it reminds me of Genesis chapter uh, 28 when it says, uh, and Jacob will wait that I live in sleep and said, How dread, dreadful is this place? This is none other than the house of God and the gates of heaven. But he said, He said, The Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. Brother, don't you know that the Lord is in his house, in his church? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And that's why Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that live in heaven and laden, I'll give you right. Mm-hmm. Come. Yeah. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Now, now we, we got that out of the way now. Noah, this is a physical salvation. This is a physical salvation. What do we have? We got one ox. One kind of material, go for wood. One window. One door. One family. One name. What, what family was it? Wasn't no, listen here. It wasn't, listen, it wasn't no big car on No. There wasn't no Shannon on that. There was no Jones. It was, they were all Noah. Yes, sir. Where was the Savior? Inside the ark. Who saved him? God. We didn't have to obey it. Saved on the inside. Who would say that one name, Noah, saved on the inside, humble went in? Now, watch this now. You see that door there? God told Noah how. Big, you make that, that dope. Because you know a giraffe is pretty tall, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Can you talk? Mm-hmm. Pretty tall. The long old day. Can you imagine the giraffe said, well, I don't mind, but uh, I, 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 I can't get in my head. No, you're going to have to humble yourself and go in. Mm-hmm. You have to get on your knees. Listen here, you've got to humble yourself to come to the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. if you want to be saved. Amen. All right? Pretty good? good. Now, Humble went in, need supplied. Everything they needed was on the up. Mm. They, listen, they were saving up. Now, could they get in the window and jump out of here? All right? Was it more than eight saved or not? No. Eight. Lost outside. Are you putting this on YouTube? Yes, sir. Well, somebody Lost will. outside. Now, how many would say that there were some saved people on the outside? No. No. Boys, how, how about that? No. No. I, and you know, we got, brethren, it's an urgent thing. It's not time to play because... Jesus said, if you're dying, you're seeing where I am, you can't come. Amen. We, listen, we don't need to mess around here and not carry the gospel to the world because when people die in their sin, there's no way they can be saved. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. I come inside of the house. Amen. 
in Joshua chapter 2 and Joshua chapter 6, Rahab what, what the, uh, was told by God, bring your father and your mother into your house. Mm -hmm. They were saved in Rahab's house. Mm -hmm. All right, pretty good, isn't it? Oh, now, there's a spiritual salvation. Spiritual yeah. salvation. Amen. There's one church. What did you say? I just don't believe it. Well, do you believe in one ark? Yep. Do you, Jesus said in Matthew 16 18, now Noah was the builder of his ark, right? Christ is the builder of the church. Mm -hmm. Matthew 16, verse 18, Jesus said upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. All right? Listen to this. One church is a spiritual house, spiritual salvation. Are you listening to it? One church, one kind of material. What kind of material? Uh, people who obey the gospel. Right? Amen. One one wonder. What is that? Light. God's word, David said in Psalm 119, verse 105, mm -hmm. thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my feet. Light. Light. Mm -hmm. Light. Keep it now. Light. 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 Now, Brother Shannon, you said one church. No, can't be one church called uh, in Revelation chapter 1 and verse number. Seven, uh, verse number eleven. It says seven churches. It says seven churches. Now, now, wait a minute. There's a contradiction in the Bible. You say one church, but Revelation says seven churches. Mm, is that right? Mm. Let me turn this around here. Boy, that's good, isn't it? Make my preacher, brother. Look at that. Y'all see that? That's good. See that? Amen. Turn it to wood, eh? Revelation one and verse number nine. You got it? Look at this now. Is this good? Amen. Amen. Uh, boy, that's good, isn't it? Yes, sir. Uh, All right, good. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, All right. What did you say? I, John. I, John. Who also am your brother. Who also am your brother. And companion, and companion in, tribulation. in tribulation. And in the kingdom. And in the kingdom. And John, and what, what John said he was in the kingdom. Paul was in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But the nomination people, the old witness said, it's not here yet. Right. Oh, no, it's been here. Mm -hmm. If the kingdom is not here, nobody can be born again. Yeah. Because Jesus said, except you're born again, you can't enter the kingdom. Right. Yeah. So the kingdom's got to be here. Amen. But it's not physical, it's spiritual. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You got it? Colossians 1 13, who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption. Through his blood to forgive us of sin. All right? Amen. Pretty good. What else does it say? Was in the isle, was in the isle that is called Patmos. Read it. For the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Read it. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Stop. Here's the word. Listen to this. It, you got this Kyriako. Now don't get all excited. Kyriako is a Greek word which means that which belongs to the Lord. Got it? Mm -hmm. That's there. And then Paul talked about the Lord's supper. Mm -hmm. Now we talk about the Lord's day. It belongs to the Lord. Do you get that? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You got it? Yes. The Lord's day. You know what the Lord's day is? It's not Mother's day. The Lord's day is the first day of the week. It was mm -hmm. prophesied in Revel uh, uh, Psalm 118, verse 22 and following. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. Brethren, we need to look forward to the first day of the week. Mm -hmm. It's the Lord's day. It's the Lord's day. Amen. And we will take the Lord's supper on the Lord's Amen. day. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go a little further. What does it say? And heard behind me a great voice. Read it. As of a trumpet. Read it. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega. Read it. The first and the last. Read. And what thou seest. What? Write in a book. Write in what? Write in a book. Books. Is it books? Book. Book. Single. <laughs> One book. Keep that in mind. Jesus told John what write it in a book and do what? And send it. Send it. What is the it? That's the book. Amen. Send it to who? To the seven churches. Who? Seven churches. Send it, the book, to the seven churches. Now watch the name of these churches. Pretty good? It yeah. was just really the church of Christ in different locations. Amen. That lady got that McDonald's. 
There's only one McDonald's. Not, no, no, one McDonald's, but there's a lot of stores. Because mm-hmm. they all got McDonald's on them. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. McDonald's. Got yes, it? McDonald's. If I know what a Big Mac is, mm-hmm. and fried, mm-hmm. wrong McDonald's, mm-hmm. you don't go to the window talking about a wrong McDonald's. Mm-hmm. No, you're in the place. All right? It says what there? Uh, there? Unto Ephesus. Wait a minute. Unto Ephesus. What else? And unto Smyrna. Smyrna. And Pergamos. Pergamos. And the Tyra Tyra. The Tyra. And Sardis. Sardis. And the Philadelphia. Philadelphia. And the Laodicea. And Laodicea. That's seven. Yeah. That's seven churches of Christ uh, in, in different locations. Right? Yeah, now right. Watch, watch this man. Yeah. Watch this man. Drop down to verse number 19. It says what? Write thee the things which thou hast seen, Read it. and the things which are, Read it. and the things which shall be hereafter. Read it. The mystery of the seven stars, Read it. which thou sewest, sawest in my right hand, Read it. and the seven golden candlesticks. Stop! Wait a minute. Seven golden candlesticks. What you say? All of these candlesticks were made out of the same stuff. Mm-hmm. And if you go back to Exodus, uh, it talks about these seven lampstands beaten with one solid piece of, of gold. Mm-hmm. And if you go to Exodus 30, 27, uh, 37 and verse number 20, oh, y'all said, Brother Shannon, your mind working pretty good. It working pretty good. Amen. Junior's working pretty good. We old, but we're not that old. Pretty good? Yeah. Revel up, uh, Exodus 27 and verse number uh, 20 says what there? You got it there? All right. All right. We're good. Are we good? Yes, we good? Good. All right. What does it say? 27.30. Read it. 20. 20. 20. 37. 20. 37. 20. 37. 20. I think I'm correct there. Let's do it. Do it. 37. 20. Is that good? Mm-hmm. All right. What does it say? Read. Take your time. Take your time. Read. And in the candlestick were four bowls. Look. Read it. Made like almonds. Read. His knot, his knot and his flowers. Read on. And the knot under the two branches of the same. Oh, oh that, that's good. Look at. Are you at verse 20? 21 now. 21. Now, look, look at Exodus 37 and verse number 22. That's what I want to. Their knots and their branches were of the same. No, that, that's not, but it, it's an Exodus, and I'll tell you what it has to do with. Listen, they had to use pure olive oil beef. Uh, I really need to get that right. I thought I wrote it down here. Uh, pure gold? No. Uh, they had to put olive oil down here. Listen to me carefully. Got it? Somebody got it? Don't be afraid. 2720. 2720? That's, that's, that's what I want. All right, all right. That, that's what I want. What does it say? Read it. And thou shalt command the children of Israel. To do what? That they bring the pure oil. Pure oil. olive oil. Read it. Beaten for the light to cause the lamp to burn off. Wait a minute. Now that is. Look. They were all made out of gold. Same thing. One thing about gold, gold is precious. And brethren, we are precious. Amen. In the sight of God. Amen. Got it? Amen. This olive oil, they had to bring it and they put it in the lampstand. And what lit one candlestick lit them all. And it was the same oil that lit one lit them all. You got it? Amen. Now, they all had the same book. They were made out, they used the same oil and they were made out of the same stuff. That's good, brother. Now, watch this. If one of these sticks was made out of bread, you want to argue about different denominations. Mm-hmm. But this is the same church, mm-hmm. just in different locations. Just like the Church of Christ, watch it here, at Red Boiling Springs, and the Church of Christ, watch it, at Jamaica. Watch it. It's the same church, just in different locations. Mm-hmm. Well, what makes them the same? They use the same book. Amen. Because mm-hmm. he said, what thou seest, write it in a book, and send it, the book, to the seven churches. Yes, sir. Now, if everybody used the same book and followed the same book, we would be the same thing. But the problem is, Amen. denominationalism, they got their own book. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. So 
that's what we're different. Right. But we got to, wait a minute. Can you imagine said, John, you gonna send us a book? No, we got our own book. No, well, if you got your own book, you don't belong over here. Right. Because Jesus walked in the middle of the stone, in the midst of the seven golden candlestick. Eric, you seem like you like this, boy. Is that pretty good? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all right, isn't it? That's well, right. so look what we have. So you got one church. Right? It's just a church Christ in different locations. Mm -hmm. Now here, here's one thing I'm gonna ask right here. That first church in Revelation chapter two. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean uh, it's the church of Ephesus. Mm -hmm. Where is it today? Why is the church of Christ in Ephesus? It was established by Paul. <laughs> Paul sent uh, an epistle. John uh, 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 John wrote some epistles there. Uh, in Revelation to that church, they had an elder, they had an evangelist, all that good stuff, yeah. and, and they had endowments where they could do spiritual gifts, uh, uh, do miraculous power. Where are they today? When you lose your first love, which is evangelism, I believe, you're going to go, you're going to die out. Amen. If you stop using it, doing evangelism, I'm going to die. That's a little excursion. Let's go a little further here That's now. That's that pretty good? Now, stay with me now. Here, we got one church. One kind of material, that's the folks who will obey the gospel. One light to guide us, that's that wonder, one wonder, one door. Jesus said, I am the door, by me if any man enter, he shall be saved. Amen. One thing, one thing, Ephesians 3, 14, for this cause by my need of, of the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. 2 Timothy 2. Uh, 2 Timothy 3, 19, 2, 19, nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, yes, that everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from nickel. What Amen. does that mean? If you say you're a Christian, you don't have no business doing that sin. Amen. You say you're a Christian, you got to depart from iniquity. Amen. No, you can't do that stuff. You can't do. You can't live a sinful life and call yourself a Christian. Preach it. No. Uh -uh. No. All right. Pretty good. Yeah. One family. One name. Right. What are yeah. Christian. Mm -hmm. what? what? What are they? Christian. The, the, the only people that were saved in our, they were all know. <clears throat> you know, it's a funny thing. I got a little clip in my billfold of uh, some Chinese writing of the art. You know what it means in Chinese? You know what it means? It means eight miles. That's what the art means in Chinese. Eight miles. You don't take my word. Look it up. Oh, no, I know it. <laughs> eight miles. Pretty good? Now, pretty good now. What name? Look, it's saved on the inside. What somebody said, I thought Christ is the church of Christ. Wait, wait a minute. Somebody said the Church of Christ is it up there on the hill. No. The Church of Christ is one location. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 21. Uh, the Church of Christ is in Christ. Yes. The body of Christ is in Christ. And when you obey the gospel, you are baptized into Christ, you are baptized in the body, and you are saved. You are saved. You are born again. Amen. Got it? Pretty good? Amen. Humble will go in. People who will not submit to the gospel, brother, listen, God can't save people. That's right. God cannot save people. Now, you may want them saved, but people who will not submit to the gospel of Jesus Christ, it may be your mother, but no, wait a minute. If Noah's mother was living, where is she? what happened? She drowned. Right. If he had some sisters and brothers, what happened? Who would take the position that they did? Somebody said, well, my mother uh, 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 died and went to heaven. She wasn't in the church of Christ. Wait a minute. Hold it now. I don't want to get to talk like your mother. You know, I don't even know your mother. I remember one time I was preaching like this. The big old guy stand up there and he said, uh, you, did you say my mother went to hell? Why, man, he was just much taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to think real fast here. And the church you in, you draw a circle and put it in there and give me the book, chapter, and verse. Saw a forty-five dollar bill. Would you take that? 
forty-five dollar beer. You know, some people still nineteen twenty. They they came from Chicago during the days of the mob and folks in Chicago, and they had some some kind of good money. So they rolled to uh, West Tennessee and come on down to Mississippi there, and they got down to a little old small town there, uh, North Mississippi, and the guy was sitting behind the counter there on the store, their country store. You know how old guys sit around here with overalls on and, and bag of juice running down. <laughs> so he walks, he says, hey, you fellas down here, you know, sometimes the folks in the north used to think that people in the south were yeah, stupid. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, that's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, they said, we got some money that y'all folks ain't saw down here. What you got? I got a $45 bill. So he reached in his pocket and threw the 45 bill down there he said, you never seen that? He said, can you change it? The old fellow said, I don't know. I think I can. And he reached down the counter and pulled out a cigar box and gave him three fifteen dollars <laughs> mm -hmm. See, you can't fool some people. Mm -hmm. You got it? Amen. Now, would you take a $15 bill or 45 bill? You would say, no. Why? Boys, you know that because it's not according to U.S. currency. Right? It's counterfeit. Right? Amen. Come on, say amen. 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 Now, people in the Baptist church will take a fifteen dollar bill. Why you say that? They in a church is counterfeit. Amen. In the church, not in the Bible, it's counterfeit. Don't no, no, don't come to well, I, I wouldn't think yes, you will. You came in a church, not in the Bible, that's counterfeit. Amen. Anything not according to the commands of Christ, church wide, is counterfeit. Amen. Laos on the outside. Now, Brother Shannon, I'd like to become a member of the Church of Christ. Can I join it? Nope, you can't join it. Well, how did I get in? You got to obey the gospel. Well, I never heard of the word obey the gospel. What in the world is obeying the gospel? I thought it just get saved. I, I heard old Jimmy Carl. He talking about a born again Christian. That's just like saying wet water. <laughs> Listen, Jesus Christ came and he died on the cross of Calvary. John 1, 29. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. His death, burial, and resurrection. Mm -hmm. You got to hear that gospel leave. He'll send it back to heaven. One must repent of their sins. Change your mind by saying you got to stop. Confess with your mouth your faith in Jesus. And be immersed in water for the remission of sins. You got to believe that. And you got to believe and know that you cannot be saved in a church, not in the scripture. Amen. So you want to come out of there. Wait a minute. You got to come out. Are you willing to do that? Yeah. But do you have any water in your back? Mm -hmm. You have water in your I go sometimes places and preaching and, and uh, extend them to the folks walk out to obey the gospel. No water in the back. You got mops and brooms in the back. Mm -hmm. What is going on? We've got to baptize people in the cross. That's good? Amen. Now, you really should be immersed in water for the mission of sin. Now, when you get into church, you got to behave. Amen. Paul said that thou mayest know how thou ought to behave thyself in the house of God, yes, which sir. is the church of the living God, the pillar and the ground of the truth. So, I'm leader, let's get you started. If you're here at this time here, if you're here and we surrender to the gospel, do it right now. Together we stand. Why keep Jesus?